During a time of sluggish performance across most major markets, could uranium be an interesting area to look at? I'm interested in momentum, in relative strength. And here are the list of the ETFs with the strongest relative strength as at the end of September. And we can see that uranium miners is the highest by quite some margin and it's had strong momentum throughout the whole of September. So let's take a closer look at the uranium market. The uranium market is boosted by both demand and supply factors. On the demand side, uranium is used in nuclear reactors to make electricity, but such reactors can't easily be shut down. So they have to buy uranium at any price. Now, fortunately, uranium is about 10% of a nuclear reactor's operating cost. So they have a high propensity to pay greater and greater inflated prices. Uranium is supposedly green because it's not a fossil fuel. And so some countries have been increasingly adopting nuclear energy. Also, there are small modular plants that can now be built to produce electricity from uranium. And these are cheaper and easier to build. So there's some increased demand through that route. And it seems like past nuclear accidents have been brushed under the carpet. So we need a resurgence from craft work to educate people. On the supply side, there are some major squeezes. So Russia is a major source of supply. and Ukraine has signed a 12 year deal with Canada, which has taken a lot of potential supply off the open market. There's a coup in Niger in July, and now Niger does not want to supply France with any uranium. And long term contracts have been maxed out. And that means that any shocks to the system will produce amplified results. Kazakhstan is also a producer of uranium. It's having logistical issues shipping through Russia and it might have to use planes. Can you imagine that? A plane glowing yellow in the sky and you're wondering what is being transported. So here is the spot price of uranium over the last few years. So a big spike in 2022 and we're now just about ahead of it in 2023. And people are predicting potentially prices exceeding hundred dollars per pound at their peak. So enter the speculators. Uranium's glowing prospects are not lost on financiers and in recent years several listed funds have launched. One is Sprott Physical Uranium Trust and there's also Yellow Cake listed on the AIM market and they've built up stocks of over 22,000 tonnes equivalent to a quarter of a year's global demand for uranium. That's pretty crazy. And both of these are set up for the longer term. They've got no fixed date by which they're going to liquidate their holdings. So they're going to continue building stockpiles until finally someone caves in and tries to buy their holdings. And here's the share price of yellow cake with a nice spike coming after July. So the ETF that I mentioned earlier is Han ETF Sprott Uranium Miners, URNP is the ticker. Here are the top 10 holdings, not that diversified, uh, but it's also got the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust in there and it's got Yellow Cake in there as well. And Yellow Cake now has a market cap of over a billion pounds and we've got the country exposure here. I must stress that in no way am I advocating you buy any sort of uranium based investment because it could be highly volatile. But I hope you found this video interesting. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments and check out this next video.